Hey, what's up there, folks? Earthmaster here, just checking in here on the Earthquake Live 3D stream. Got a, uh, well, aftershock that kind of occurred here just a short time ago there. In the Utah region, once again, Utah seen quite a bit of earthquake activity, quite a bit of aftershock activity. Um, no sign of a let up yet. So we're going to zoom in here and uh, take a look at uh, where this activity is occurring on a closer scale here. As you know, let's go ahead and also make this map a little bit more historic. That way we can see the activity that has occurred here uh, within the past week or so near the Wasatch Mountains and the Wasatch Fault System out there in the Great Basin area. So let's bring this back here. Last seven days, magnitude 2.5 and above, okay? Now I could, you know what, let's just go ahead and seven days, all magnitudes. That way we can show you guys the uh, tremendous amount of earthquake activity that they've seen out there in the beautiful state of Utah, near the Salt Lake City region, big city out there, right next to that uh, uh, Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake out there. I've been there quite a few times as a kid. It's been a while since I've been out there. I might have to go back out there and see what's going on. Anyway, uh, zooming in here on the USGS map, seven days, all magnitudes. This shows 320 earthquakes, folks. 320 earthquakes confined to a pretty well centered location right outside of Salt Lake City on a specific fault or just off a specific fault here. Um, let's see, well, West Valley Fault Zone, the Granger Fault. Very uh, small fault system out there. And over here just to the west, we have the Wasatch Fault Zone. Right, Salt Lake City section, which is uh, capable of producing a 7.0 or earth, larger earthquake than that, actually. Uh, it's been a while since they've had one. It's not regular intervals like California sees. This is roughly between five and 2,000 years um, on the interval level. Uh, this system over here, this fault system, the West Valley fault system, uh, capable of producing some larger quakes as well. Not as intense as the the Wasatch system over there, but uh, nonetheless, big ones have happened. Um, so yeah, 320 earthquakes, folks, following that uh, 5 point, what was it, 5.6, I believe? Let's see, let's go back to the original first earthquake, 5.7. It all started off with a 5.7 there on the 18th of March, which was just a couple days, a few days ago. Um, and like I say, 330 earthquakes, folks. The largest one, I believe, was a 4.7. Um, but either way, we're still seeing uh, the aftershock activity occur out there in Salt Lake City. 4.0, uh, they have it set as 8 kilometers north, northeast of Magna, Utah. And uh, everything's in the green, but I'm sure quite a few folks out there did uh, feel this uh, activity out there. Here. Yeah, it looks like we're uh, looks like quite a few responses there. They're probably already uh, they're probably uh, getting used to this activity, I guess, if you will. I don't know, living out there in, in uh, Utah, I don't know if you really get used to earthquakes, right? <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and refresh this here real quick, and it's gonna be stubborn. But uh, it's all right. We can go back here. There's always a, always a little bug out there in the system. I do want to go over the satellite view real quick and show you guys exactly where this is at. Now this defaulted back to the original default settings here. So we'll go uh, last seven days, 2.5 and above. And then we'll add the satellite view uh, along with the U.S. fault system. And we can also check out the U.S. hazards, how they have uh, the country mapped out for hazards in the area. You can see Utah, right? Right up there around the Wasatch Mountains range. Very strong uh, level of hazard for the folks out there. You see the Wasatch Fault runs all the way up here. You even got Yellowstone mixed in up there uh, a little ways. But uh, definitely Salt Lake City within that hazard zone of earthquake activity and potentially hazardous as well. Uh, you can see the orange over here 
indicating uh, higher, stronger potential for larger earthquakes. Let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, hazard so we can see the, uh, the, there we go. See the mountain ranges down there and the beautiful desert out there. Salt Lake City region. Lots and lots of people live out there, folks. Uh, quite a bit. It's a big city. So all this earthquake activity definitely taking place around the highly populated region. Centered within about, oh, I don't know, 3,000, let's see, about 6,000 feet. Probably within about a mile, about a mile radius or so, maybe a mile and a half radius of uh, earthquake activity. And the 4.0, the latest one happening up here, uh, kind of north, just a little north of the cluster of quakes there, the aftershock activity, that red circle. Um, just a short distance. Let's see how many feet we're talking about. Maybe a couple thousand feet away from the uh, the main shakes out there, the aftershocks. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. That's about 10 kilometers below the surface there. That 4.0 is. Uh, that's about as close as I'm going to get to zoom in there. But uh, I don't see any oil fracking. I don't believe this is oil fracking. This is the Intermountain West with the Great Basin out there specific high specific fault systems that are capable of producing movement and uh, that's exactly what we're seeing there plate tectonics and the such at play right here in, in the uh, Utah area so figure I'd give you guys a heads up you know a lot of folks out there uh, wondering what's going on out there in Utah uh, if you haven't seen my update video I go a little bit more into specifics about the uh, dynamics of the fault systems out there the West Valley fault and also the uh, Wasatch fault system as well just pretty active area uh, even though it's, we really haven't seen a lot of active active uh, times in our in our times in our history uh, but uh, definitely have a pretty large earthquake history in its past around that region so uh, anyway taking a look globally folks real quick a pretty active day we did discuss earlier about 6.1 out there on the central east pacific rise out there in the eastern pacific ocean um, looks like uh, quite a bit of activity out there just throughout North America and the latest 4.7 out there south of Japan but still on that Pacific ring of fire a lot of movement going on out there on the uh, Pacific Plate. But uh, let's see here in Kansas. What do we got? I think that's Kansas up there. That 3.1. Some strange activity going on. Yeah, Harrington, Kansas. Five kilometers below surface. Quite a few folks uh, reported feeling that earthquake out there as well. Anyway, folks. I'm going to jump back off here and sit here on the side on the Earthquake Live 3D stream for a little bit and uh, cook me some dinner. Have a safe night out there, no matter what you're doing, and uh, just be prepared for uh, <coughs> anything out there. We're living in some very interesting times here, uh, economically and globally, uh, as far as like everything else that's going on on the Earth. It's pretty crazy out here right now. Stay safe, folks. We'll chat to you guys a little bit later.